We're in the CTV Morning Live kitchen this morning. Chef Phil Joy, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. What? Buen what's that, sorry? Buenos dias, Senor Roberto. Uh, muy bien. Muy bien. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very good. Yeah, not bad, eh? <laughs> we do a little much, Spanish because yeah. we're doing amore today, but Ex go ahead. <laughs> exactly. The uh, watercress and almond soup that you uh, have on the menu for us. I found this delicious product, um, amore, almond and dairy. It's roasted almonds and dairy, and it's absolutely delicious. And it just made me pull up one of my recipes from an archive, 1977. I don't want to think that, that, that far old. Back? That old, wow. yeah. But almond watercress soup. Put and, some you can, in the pan. and you can find this pretty much anywhere? Any grocery store. Okay. It's, it's uh, positioned about five, uh, five and a quarter. Okay. Okay. So, pan with some butter, because it's an old fashioned recipe. It's got mm -hmm. that dairy in it, some butter, onions, and then what I have here, some beautiful watercress. Um, find it in most grocery stores. And that goes into the pan. We're going to let that uh, just saute slightly. Um, so you run a risk of keeping that in the pan too long, or is that, as long as the heat's not up too you, high, right? You want to get the heat up fairly high, and it's, it's what we call uh, the cooking time sweat. It means you just want to start to uh, cook it until the moisture starts to come out of mm -hmm. it. And then we add a little bit of flour. So I've got about a quarter cup of flour, and actually we're making a, uh, an old-fashioned uh, French roux. We'll mix that in. And then we have some chicken stock. Nice. But before we get to that, okay. the uh, uh, milk and almonds, 50% more calcium than regular milk. Good Ground start. almonds, the two go together. Ideally, you would want this to soak for about 20 minutes. That's right. But today, we're not For doing our that. purposes, no, <laughs> we're just going to throw that in. So into the pan goes a little of the chicken stock. We want to stir that around and just let that flour come and uh, thicken it. And then we add the balance of the chicken stock goes in there. there a little go. bit first just to break it down so we don't get any lumps in it. And then, amore. There we go. Now that's love. Oh, it looks like <laughs> it, for sure. So, goes in the pan, salt and pepper. We want this to simmer for about <clears throat> 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we're going to pass it through the food processor. Okay. I've got some sexy little basil oil to put on the top <laughs> and it will absolutely make your taste buds do a dance of well, happiness. Well, I didn't know that basil oil was sexy, but I can't wait for that. I have one ready to go into the food processor. So this one is cooked for about 10 minutes. And why does it go into the food processor? Because we want to puree it and get all that goodness out of the almonds and the watercress. The watercress it's very high in iron, so we're looking at the fall time and uh, good hearty soups. Mm -hmm. This is one for you. Into the food processor, just give it a quick whirl. Ideally, I'd want to leave it for about uh, a minute or so, but we're a little bit stretched for time here That's today. Okay. So, there we go. And the watercress we mentioned before, you can pretty much find that at any grocery store? Yeah, I found it uh, at one of the local grocery stores. So into the bowl it goes. And we were talking before, like this is a great hearty soup for the fall, but it's uh, been a little warm out for the uh, the soup. Well, right? we're easing into I, it gently. I know. So just a little drizzle of uh, basil oil over the top like that. And we have this amazingly tasty dish. Well, that's what I think, but... And this is this you, is the, the uh, this is the sexy basil oil that it you're is, referring yes. to, right? It's the only way it comes. Okay. And this this goes back to the early '70s. This dish, yours, 1977, right? 1977. And dug out my recipe so, archives. Oh, I can't believe I'm that young. I love how you I said '77 because when we started, you said '73. So th this recipe is actually getting younger as we go along. Oh, here. This is brilliant. Well, well, in '77, I was only five years old. <laughs> what do we think? Oh, oh, wow. Like I'm just going to okay. go on. Wow. <laughs> We're done. Um, as always, uh, Phil's recipes are linked to uh, our website, edmonton.ctvnews.ca. This is a great recipe. You've probably got all sorts of great soups for the fall. Do you know? Uh, I got some great soup recipes. We keep loading them on the website every day. Enjoy cooking with Phil.com. So I'm going to double dip on you this. You go right ahead. Oh, this is fantastic. I'll let the other guys know that I did save some for them. A little bit. Not, not much. <laughs> no.